Hi guys, well, looks like we're making some progress. Everything is going very, very slowly because I'm a bit rubbish doing this, but we're getting there. It's, um, it's mounted, although it's very wobbly. So it's only just temporarily on there, and I'll have to do lots of, of um, work to make it stronger. Um, I'll probably have to put a couple of bolts through there and there on the diagonal to try and clamp everything nice and tight. Um, I'll probably put some sort of a, I don't know, a piece across here, weld a piece of, of metal in here um, so that it, or going across maybe the front, so that um, uh, it's all a bit stronger and the same in the bottom. So, but for now, it is kind of working. Lots of adjustment required, lots of tensioning required, um, lots of sorting out to be required, but we're getting there. As you saw before the last video, the motor works. I was able to drive it off uh, one of my controllers, e-bike controllers, and that seemed to work very well, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, the only thing I'm slightly concerned about in this one is the uh, ratio. Um, this is a, th at the minute it's an 11 tooth sprocket, but I think it's a bit too small, so I'm going to have to put a 13, one on, 13 tooth sprocket on there. That's an 80 tooth there, which gives a ratio of around about uh, 6 to 1. But then this back uh, sprocket going across to the the rear, uh, I guess if I could make this, I might actually have to get a smaller uh, sprocket there for it, because uh, that is actually going to increase the speed but decrease the torque. And... It really and truly torque is what I want for this because it's more more or less for an off-road use. So hopefully I'll maybe like I say order up a smaller sprocket for the back or see if I can rig up some kind of a smaller sprocket for the back. Um because of the BCD of 104 millimeters, it means that there's there's only so small the sprocket can be. But we'll figure something out. Um but yeah, for for now, I'm very pleased that it's actually physically on the bike and really just needs some tweaking. If this had been a, a steel frame bike, I, I would have been able to weld directly to it, but it's not, it's alloy. And I can't take weld, so and I'm not very good at doing ordinary welding anyway, so uh, in my, way, my MIG welding is rubbish, never mind TIG welding, so... Anyway, it is what it is. We have uh, we have the the motor mounted, albeit temporarily. Um, and like I said, there'll be lots lots more work to do to make it to make it run properly. I'm hoping to put the battery in here somewhere, and I haven't quite figured out yet where the controller is going to be. Be the controller might actually have to go on top. I'm not sure. Um, don't really want it to go there, but if it has to, it has to. But anyway. We're making progress, slowly making progress, and um, hopefully in the next video it will be properly secured and maybe even running. Um, the, the batteries, I've actually ordered some new batteries for this and they have been a very long time, over two months now coming, so that's a bit of an issue. Hopefully when the batteries come We'll be able to get the new um, battery pack made up properly and that'll be another project in itself but anyway this is this is uh, really coming on i'm really pleased that i've got this mounted in such a way that it it actually is lining up i was kind of concerned that it was going to be difficult to get the um the uh, the two sprockets to line up in such a way that the chain would stay on and yeah it seemed seems to be working um, but like I say lots more adjustment lots more uh, tidying up and and sorting out of various issues 
but to come. But for now, anyway, we're happy. Bye for now.